Good day, students. In the previous examples, you are given equation of an ellipse and determine its properties based on the given equation. Now, for today's example, you'll be given some properties and derive the equation of an ellipse based on the given properties. But let's recall first on the different equation of an ellipse. The standard form of the equation of an ellipse with center at the origin and the major axis is horizontal, we have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. And if the major axis is vertical, the standard form is x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared is equal to 1. In the standard form of the equation of an ellipse with center not at the origin and the major axis is horizontal, we have quantity x minus h squared over a squared plus quantity y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. And if the major axis is vertical, the standard form is quantity x minus h squared over b squared plus quantity y minus k squared over a squared is equal to 1. And our problem for this session, we will determine the standard equation of an ellipse with vertices are the points negative 1, negative 1, and 9, negative 1. And co-vertices are the points 4, 2, and 4, negative 4. The first thing that we need to do here is we have to plot or sketch the given parts, which are the vertices and co-vertices on the given Cartesian plane. The vertex 1 is located at negative 1, negative 1. The vertex 2 is located at 9, negative 1. The co-vertex 1 is located at 4, 2. And the co-vertex 2 is located at 4, negative 4. Then to determine the standard equation of an ellipse, we need to identify first the orientation of its major axis. Observe that if we connect the vertices, which are negative 1 and negative 1, and 9 negative 1, we actually form the major axis. This means that the major axis of the ellipse is horizontal. So we are guided with an equation, quantity x minus h squared over a squared plus quantity y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. And to complete our desired equation, we have to determine the values of h, k, a, and b. So to solve for the center, since the center is the midpoint of the two vertices, as well as the midpoint of the two co-vertices, we can actually use the midpoint formula to solve for the center. Or you can actually get or the intersection of the line segment joining vertices and the line segment joining the co-vertices to determine the center. And in this case, their point of intersection is at 4 negative 1, meaning the center of the given ellipse is at 4, negative 1. So the value of h is positive 4 and the value of k is negative 1. We now have the values of h and k. What we need to determine now are the values of a and b. Take note that a is the distance from center to vertex and b is the distance from center to co-vertex and based on the given graph the distance from center to vertex 1 is 5 units meaning a is equal to 5 and the distance from center to co-vertex 1 is 3, is 3 units meaning b is equal to 3. So we now have the values of h, k, a and b then we will substitute the obtained values to the appropriate standard form to get our equation of an ellipse. Since h is equal to 4, we have x minus 4 quantity squared all over a squared is 25 plus k is negative 1, so we have y plus 1 quantity squared all over 9 is equal to 1. And this serves as the equation of an ellipse. 
To complete the properties or the parts of the given ellipse, we need to determine the foci. But to determine the foci, to determine the coordinates of the foci, we have to solve for the value of c. Since we now, since we already solved or get the value of a and b, to solve for c, we will use the equation a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. Then substitute the value of a and b. a squared is 25 since a is equal to 5. And b squared is equal to 9 since b is equal to 3. And c is unknown. Simplify the equation. So you have c squared is equal to 25 minus 9. So c squared is equal to 16. Take the square root on both sides. So c is equal to 4. C as 4 serves as the focal distance. And since the major axis is horizontal, to determine the coordinate of focus 1 and focus 2, you count 4 units on the right side and left side of the center. So our focus 1, 4 units on the right side. So focus 1 is located here. And the coordinate of focus 1 is 8, negative 1. And count another four units on the left side of the center we have okay focus two is located here and the coordinate of focus two is zero negative one then sketch the graph of the given ellipse okay connect co vertex one to vertex two vertex two to co vertex two co vertex two to vertex one and this is now the graph of the given ellipse and the foci completes the properties or should I say parts of the given ellipse. I hope that you learned something today and see you on our next video. Have a nice day everyone.